In February of 2019, I became very ill and my local doctors and hospital were treating me. I was hospitalized uh, six or seven times and then I was sent to a local ENT who did sinus surgery on July 2nd. And I became sick again, was hospitalized through the ER in early August and another CT showed all of my sinuses were completely full and he wanted to send me to Mayo Clinic, um, which they were affiliated with. And I said, I would rather be sent to UAMS. And he said, that would be fine. He had a, a ENT that he thought was very good at UAMS. And he referred me to Dr. Kanan. In addition to developing the respiratory symptoms, she had sinus symptoms too, including recurrent sinus infection, nasal blockage, loss of smell, um, drainage that is discolored from the nose. You know, in patients that are having recurrent sinus infections on and on, there's usually something deeper in the system that's broken that needs to be fixed that is bigger than just antibiotics or surgery for the sinuses. They treated me for months. Uh, trying to eliminate cause of the issues that I was having. Things that could, you know, potentially cause that. AERD is one of them. Cystic fibrosis could be one of them. Immune deficiency could be one of them. Really bad mold allergy, which is also pretty common in Arkansas, could be one of them. So we started looking into other factors. Then why is she having this constant problem that's not going away? So then I was like, okay, well, this is a typical picture of AERD but she's not having the bad symptoms of that medication, well, what if we try and stop it and see if her symptoms improve? It so happened that I saw her the day after my flu and pneumonia shot and coming fresh off of a pick line. So my arms were swollen, I was in a lot of pain, I was having difficulty breathing. And Dr. Kanan said, I'd like for you to stay in a Little Rock overnight. If you have more difficulty breathing, go to the ER. Whenever we suspect AERD, we ask the patients if they have had like an anaphylaxis to aspirin. And this was not the case with Mrs. Christensen. She was on daily ibuprofen every day taking it, and she was actually on a high dose, which kind of threw us off. But eventually, I just said, can you please, you know, try to get off of that medication and let's see what happens. And that was kind of surprising to me because I had taken ibuprofen all my life. And so I switched to Tylenol and that actually became a life-changing moment because up until that point, I had multiple um, ER and hospital stays because I was on large doses of ibuprofen to try and bring down the inflammation in my body. So it was a, a big moment for me to get off of ibuprofen at her recommendation. She wanted me to follow up with the allergy clinic and that's when things started coming together and falling in place that I had aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease. It was great to have multiple specialists across the board that were so good at communicating with my case. And uh, right away, Dr. Kanan identified that I needed to see Dr. Chervinsky so that they could work together on my case. This is what is amazing about interdisciplinary approach because we all have our, you know, our backgrounds, our training, um, we look at things differently, but then we try to come up with a, one solution by brainstorming and getting the patient to you know, a place where they do better. One of the wonderful things to me is that I have one chart. Instead of going to all these different doctors and having to start from the beginning, all they have to do is pull up my chart and they can see everything that has already been done and they're not duplicating. Whenever we have a patient that, you know, was doing so bad and nobody knows why and then we eventually figure it out and they do better, it's just rewarding. It just like, it makes us, you know, feel like, oh, I, this is why I'm here and this is why I love my job so much because it just makes our day. My quality of life has changed tremendously because uh, last summer, from Memorial Day to Labor Day, I spent the entire summer living with my sister who was taking care of me. I was on IV antibiotics and she was giving me treatments every day. And now I'm able to regain my life. I uh, 
was concerned about living in my house because I live on a farm and we have dogs and cats and horses and lots of grass and everything else. And with the treatments that I've received and the allergy shots that I've gotten over the last summer, I'm able to enjoy those things again. And it has been a huge blessing for me uh, to return to my life that I've chosen to live instead of it being uh, living within constraints of my illness.